So, Speaker, 19 months after the fires went through East Gippsland, this is what the situation looks like. 19 months. The Thurrow River campground and access to Point Hicks remains out of action, and the word is that it won't be restored until late next year. One bridge that provides access to a campground of 50 and the famous Point Hicks lighthouse that people would have seen on a number of postcards and brochures. Access won't be restored for three years. One bridge, three years after the fires. I mean, you've got to be kidding. You have seriously got to be Comes kidding. to bushfire recovery, this government has in many cases moved at the speed of a glacier. And worse still, they will not tell communities when the works will be completed. Our communities want timeframes on when the works will be finished at specific sites. The Cape Conran boardwalk uh, still got police tape up, that popular boardwalk around the East Cape there. Uh, no timeframe of when that will be finished. There is a little bit of action going on at Mallacoota at some of the jetties, but not all sites. Many of the day visitor areas around Mallacoota still have the tapes up restricting access. I was told that the Mallacoota works would be finished by mid-2021. It's mid-2021 now, and many have not even been started. Other areas include the Wilderness Coast Walk, Fly Cove Walk at Wingan Inlet, Mueller Inlet, Campground, Cicada Trail, Swan Lake Track, Clinton Rocks Track. I was told this was open, but it's still on the website as being closed. The Wingan Inlet Rapids Walk, Elusive Lake Walk. There's many more, Deputy Speaker. 19 months on after the fires, and this government told us it would walk with us and assist it in our recovery. 